In mathematics, specifically in the field of finite group theory, the Silo theorems are a collection of theorems named after the Norwegian mathematician Peter Ludwig Silo that give detailed information about the number of subgroups of fixed order that a given finite group contains. The Silo theorems form a fundamental part of finite group theory and have very important applications in the classification of finite simple groups. For a prime number p, a silo p subgroup, sometimes p silo subgroup of a group G is a maximal p subgroup of G, i.e., a subgroup of G that is a p group, so that the order of every group element is a power of p that is not a proper subgroup of any other p subgroup of G. The set of all silo p subgroups for a given prime p is sometimes written S Y L P G. The silo theorems assert a partial converse to Lagrange's theorem. Lagrange's theorem states that for any finite group G the order number of elements of every subgroup of G divides the order of G the silo theorem state that for every prime factor P of the order of a finite group G there exists a silo P subgroup of G of order PN the highest power of P that divides the order of G moreover every subgroup of order PN is a silo P subgroup of G and the silo P subgroups of a group for a given prime P are conjugate to each other Furthermore, the number of silo p subgroups of a group for a given prime p is congruent to 1 mod p. Theorems Collections of subgroups that are each maximal in one sense or another are common in group theory. The surprising result here is that in the case of SYLP G, all members are actually isomorphic to each other and have the largest possible order, if G. Topic. P and M with n greater than 0 where P does not divide M, then every silo P subgroup P has order, P. P n. That is, P is a P group and GCD, G, P, P equals 1. These properties can be exploited to further analyze the structure of G. The following theorems were first proposed and proven by Ludwig Silo in 1872, and published in Mathematisch Annalen. Theorem 1, for every prime factor P with multiplicity n of the order of a finite group G, there exists a Silo P subgroup of G, of order P n. The following weaker version of Theorem 1 was first proved by Augustin Louis Cauchy, and is known as Cauchy's Theorem. Corollary, given a finite group G and a prime number P dividing the order of G, then there exists an element and hence a subgroup of order P in G. Theorem 2, given a finite group G and a prime number P, all silo P subgroups of G are conjugate to each other, i.e. if H and K are silo P subgroups of G, then there exists an element G in G with G minus 1 H G equals K. Theorem 3, let P be a prime factor with multiplicity n of the order of a finite group G, so that the order of G can be written as P and M, where n greater than 0 and P does not divide M. Let n P be the number of silo P subgroups of G then the following hold n P divides M, which is the index of the silo P subgroup in G n P 1 mod P n P equals g ing p where p is any silo p subgroup of g and ing denotes the normalizer equals topic consequences equals the silo theorems imply that for a prime number p every silo p subgroup is of the same order pn Conversely, if a subgroup has order Pn, then it is a silo P subgroup, and so is isomorphic to every other silo P subgroup. Due to the maximality condition, if H is any P subgroup of G, then H is a subgroup of a P subgroup of order Pn. A very important consequence of theorem 3 is that the condition NP equals 1 is equivalent to saying that the silo P subgroup of G is a normal subgroup. There are groups that have normal subgroups but no normal silo subgroups, such as S4. Topic: <inaudible> Silo theorems for infinite groups. 
There is an analog of the silo theorems for infinite groups. We define a silo p subgroup in an infinite group to be a p subgroup that is every element in it has p power order that is maximal for inclusion among all p subgroups in the group. Such subgroups exist by Zorn's lemma. Theorem: If K is a silo p subgroup of G and NP equals CL K is finite, then every silo p subgroup is conjugate to K and NP1 mod p, where CL K denotes the conjugacy class of K. Equals. Topic: Examples. Equals. A simple illustration of silo subgroups and the silo theorems are the dihedral group of the n gon, d2n. For n odd, 2 equals 21 is the highest power of 2 dividing the order, and thus subgroups of order 2 are silo subgroups. These are the groups generated by a reflection, of which there are n, and they are all conjugate under rotations. Geometrically, the axes of symmetry pass through a vertex and a side. By contrast, if n is even, then 4 divides the order of the group, and the subgroups of order 2 are no longer silo subgroups, and in fact they fall into two conjugacy classes, geometrically according to whether they pass through two vertices or two faces. These are related by an outer automorphism, which can be represented by rotation through pi, n, half the minimal rotation in the dihedral group. Another example are the silo P subgroups of GL2 FQ, where P and Q are primes 3 and P1 mod Q, which are all abelian. The order of GL2 FQ is Q21 Q2Q. Topic Q, Q plus 1, Q1, 2. Since QPNM plus 1, the order of GL2 FQ equals P2NM. Thus by theorem 1, the order of the silo P subgroups is P2N. One such subgroup P, is the set of diagonal matrices xim xjm display style begin B matrix x caret im and 0 0 and x caret jm end B matrix, x is any primitive root of FQ. Since the order of FQ is Q1, its primitive roots have order Q1, which implies that X Q1, Pn or Xm and all its powers have an order which is a power of P. So, P is a subgroup where all its elements have orders which are powers of P. There are Pn choices for both A and B, making P equals P2N. This means P is a silo P subgroup, which is abelian, as all diagonal matrices commute, and because theorem 2 states that all silo P subgroups are conjugate to each other, the silo P subgroups of GL2 FQ are all abelian. Topic example applications equals Since Silo's theorem ensures the existence of P subgroups of a finite group, it's worthwhile to study groups of prime power order more closely. Most of the examples use Silo's theorem to prove that a group of a particular order is not simple. For groups of small order, the congruence condition of Silo's theorem is often sufficient to force the existence of a normal subgroup. Example 1 groups of order P Q, P and Q primes with P Example 2 group of order 30, groups of order 20, groups of order P2 Q, P and Q distinct primes are some of the applications. Example 3 Groups of order 60, if the order, G equals 60 and G has more than one silo 5 subgroup, then G is simple. Equals Topic. Cyclic group orders Topic. Some non-prime numbers n are such that every group of order n is cyclic. One can show that n 15 is such a number using the silo theorems, let G be a group of order 15 equals 3 5 and n 3 be the number of silo 3 subgroups. Then n 3 mid 5 and n 3 1 mod 3. The only value satisfying these constraints is 1, therefore, there is only one subgroup of order 3, and it must be normal since it has no distinct conjugates. Similarly, n5 must divide 3, and n5 must equal 1 mod 5, thus it must also have a single normal subgroup of order 5. 
Since 3 and 5 are coprime, the intersection of these two subgroups is trivial, and so G must be the internal direct product of groups of order 3 and 5, that is the cyclic group of order 15. Thus, there is only one group of order 15 up to isomorphism. Topic. Small groups are not simple A more complex example involves the order of the smallest simple group that is not cyclic. Burnside's Pa QB theorem states that if the order of a group is the product of one or two prime powers, then it is solvable, and so the group is not simple, or is of prime order and is cyclic. This rules out every group up to order 30 equals 2, 3, 5. If G is simple, and G topic 30, then N3 must divide 10. 2, 5, and N3 must equal 1 mod 3. Therefore, N3 topic 10, since neither 4 nor 7 divides 10, and if N3 1 then, as above, G would have a normal subgroup of order 3, and could not be simple. G then has 10 distinct cyclic subgroups of order 3, each of which has two elements of order 3, plus the identity. This means G has at least 20 distinct elements of order 3. As well, N5. Topic 6, since N5 must divide 6. 2 3, and n5 must equal 1 mod 5. So g also has 24 distinct elements of order 5. But the order of g is only 30, so a simple group of order 30 cannot exist. Next, suppose, g topic 42 2 3 7. Here n7 must divide 6. Topic two three and n seven must equal one mod seven, so n seven one. So as before, G cannot be simple. On the other hand, for G topic sixty twenty two three five, then n three. Topic ten and n five six is perfectly possible, and in fact, the smallest simple non-cyclic group is a five, the alternating group over five elements. It has order sixty and has twenty-four cyclic permutations of order five and twenty of order three. Topic Wilson's theorem. Part of Wilson's theorem states that p minus one minus one mod p display style p one equiv minus one p m o d p for every prime p, one may easily prove this theorem by Silo's third theorem. Indeed, observe that the number n p of Silo's p subgroups. In the symmetric group S P is P minus two. On the other hand, N P one mod P. Hence, P minus two one mod P. So P minus one minus one mod P. Topic Fusion results. Frattini's argument shows that a silo subgroup of a normal subgroup provides a factorization of a finite group. A slight generalization known as Burnside's fusion theorem states that if G is a finite group with silo P subgroup P and two subsets A and B normalized by P, then A and B are G conjugate if and only if they are ing P conjugate. The proof is a simple application of Silo's theorem. If B equals AG, then the normalizer of B contains not only P but also PG since PG is contained in the normalizer of AG. 
by Silo's theorem P and PG are conjugate not only in G, but in the normalizer of B. Hence GH1 normalizes P for some H that normalizes B, and then A1. Topic BH minus one B so that A and B are ing P conjugate. Burnside's fusion theorem can be used to give a more powerful factorization called a semidirect product if G is a finite group whose silo P subgroup P is contained in the center of its normalizer. Then G has a normal subgroup K of order K prime to P G. Topic PK and PK one that is G is penal potent. Less trivial applications of the silo theorems include the focal subgroup theorem, which studies the control a silo P subgroup of the derived subgroup has on the structure of the entire group. This control is exploited at several stages of the classification of finite simple groups, and for instance defines the case divisions used in the alperin brouwer gorenstein theorem classifying finite simple groups whose silo 2 subgroup is a quasi-dihedral group. These rely on J. L. Alperin's strengthening of the conjugacy portion of Silo's theorem to control what sorts of elements are used in the conjugation. Topic proof of the Silo theorems The Silo theorems have been proved in a number of ways, and the history of the proofs themselves is the subject of many papers including Waterhouse 1980, Charlau 1988, Casadio and Zappa 1990, Gao 1994, and to some extent Mio 2004. One proof of the Silo theorems exploits the notion of group action in various creative ways. The group G acts on itself or on the set of its P subgroups in various ways, and each such action can be exploited to prove one of the Silo theorems. The following proofs are based on combinatorial arguments of Wieland 1959. In the following, we use a display style mid b as notation for a divides b and a display style nmid b for the negation of this statement. Theorem 1, a finite group G whose order, G, is divisible by a prime power PK has a subgroup of order PK. Proof, let, G. Topic, PKM PK plus RU such that P does not divide U, and let omega denote the set of subsets of G of size PK. G acts on omega by left multiplication. The orbits G omega equals G omega, G element of G of the omega element of omega are the equivalence classes under the action of G. For any omega element of omega consider its stabilizer subgroup G omega. Topic. G element of G, G omega Omega. For any fixed element alpha element of omega the function G G alpha maps G omega to omega injectively, for any two grams, H element of G omega we have that G alpha. Topic. H alpha implies G H, because alpha element of omega G means that one may cancel on the right. Therefore, pk equals omega g omega. On the other hand, omega equals p k m p k equals j equals zero p k minus one p k m minus j p k minus j equals m j equals 1 p k minus 1 p k minus nu p J M minus J P nu 
P J P K minus new P J minus J P new P J Display style Omega equals P carrot K M choose P carrot K equals prod underscore J equals zero carrot P carrot K minus one FRAC P carrot K M J P carrot K J equals M prod underscore J equals one carrot P carrot K minus one FRAC P carrot K new underscore P J M J P carrot new underscore P J P carrot K new underscore P J J P carrot new underscore P J and no power of P remains in any of the factors inside the product on the right. Hence new P omega. Topic new P M R let R omega be a complete representation of all the equivalence classes under the action of G then omega equals omega element of r g omega display style omega equals sum underscore omega in r g omega mathrm thus there exists an element omega element of r such that s topic nu p g omega nu p omega R. Hence, G omega. Topic PSV where P does not divide V. By the orbit stabilizer theorem, we have G omega. G G omega equals P K plus R su V. Therefore, P K. Display style mid. G omega, so P K, G omega, and G omega is the desired subgroup. Lemma: Let G be a finite P group. Let omega be a finite set. Let omega G be the set generated by the action of G on all the elements of omega, and let omega zero denote the set of points of omega G that are fixed under the action of G. Then omega G, omega zero, mod P. Proof: Write omega g as a disjoint sum of its orbits under g. Any element x element of omega g not fixed by g will lie in an orbit of order g g x, where g x denotes the stabilizer, which is a multiple of p by assumption. The result follows immediately. Theorem two: If h is a p subgroup of g and p is a silo p subgroup of g, then there exists an element g in g such that g minus one h g p in particular. All silo p subgroups of g are conjugate to each other and therefore isomorphic. That is, if h and k are silo p subgroups of g, then there exists an element g in g with g minus one h g equals k. Proof: Let omega be the set of left cosets of P and G, and let H act on omega by left multiplication. Applying the lemma to H on omega, we see that omega zero omega equals G P mod P. Now P display style nmid G P by definition, so P display style nmid omega 0 hence in particular omega 0 does not equal 0 so there exists some gp element of omega 0 it follows that for some g element of g and h element of h we have hgp topic gp so g minus 1 hgp p and therefore g minus 1 hgp now if H is a silo P subgroup, H topic P GP G minus one, so that H equals GP G minus one for some G element of G Theorem three: Let Q denote the order of any silo p subgroup of a finite group G. Then N p equals G ing p N p display style mid g q and np1 mod p 
Proof: Let G act on P, a silo P subgroup, by conjugation. By the orbit stabilizer theorem, N P equals G stab G P stab G P equals G element of G G P G minus one. Topic P. Ing P, the normalizer of P and G. Thus, N P. Topic G Ing P, and it follows that this number is a divisor of G Q. Let omega be the set of all silo P subgroups of G, and let P act on omega by conjugation. Let Q element of omega zero and observe that then Q. X Q X minus one for all X in P so that P ing Q. By theorem two, P and Q are conjugate in ing Q in particular, and Q is normal in ing Q, so then P equals Q. It follows that omega zero equals P so that by the lemma omega omega zero equals one mod P equals Topic algorithms equals the problem of finding a silo subgroup of a given group is an important problem in computational group theory. One proof of the existence of silo P subgroups is constructive. If H is a P subgroup of G and the index G, H is divisible by P, then the normalizer N equals ing H of H in G is also such that N, H is divisible by P. In other words, a polycyclic generating system of a silo P subgroup can be found by starting from any P subgroup H including the identity and taking elements of P power order contained in the normalizer of H but not in H itself. The algorithmic version of this and many improvements is described in textbook form in Butler 1991, Chapter 16, including the algorithm described in Canon 1971. These versions are still used in the gap computer algebra system. In permutation groups, it has been proven in Contour 1985A, 1985B, 1990, Contour and Taylor 1988 that a silo P subgroup and its normalizer can be found in polynomial time of the input the degree of the group times the number of generators. These algorithms are described in textbook form in Ceres 2003, and are now becoming practical as the constructive recognition of finite simple groups becomes a reality. In particular, versions of this algorithm are used in the Magma computer algebra system. See also Notes <laughs> 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 <laughs>